Εκλογέ και ώρα για αλλαγέ. Αν έχει χρόνο και για σινεμά αυτή την εβδομάδα, να ενημερώσω ότι διανέμονται μόλι τρία νέα φιλμ. Άρα οι ελληνικέ εταιρείε ίσω έχουν και χιούμορ τελικά. Let's go. Walk. Where are we going? Get you some coffee. Did I do something to disrespect you? Not yet. Look, I have a lot riding on this fucking plane. Oh, is that right? Yeah. People know who I am. Mike. Bullshit. They, they don't know you, your work, man. They know the guy from the bird suit who goes and tells coy, slightly vomitous stories on Letterman. Well, I'm sorry if I'm popular, Mike. Popular. You know, I don't give a shit. Popular? Popularity is the slutty little cousin of prestige, my friend. Okay, I don't even know what the fuck that means, so... Well, yeah. it, 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 it means my reputation is riding on this, and that's worth a... A, a lot. A lot, exactly. Right. Fuck right. you. Yes. If this doesn't work out for you, you fuck off back to your studio, right. pals, and dive back into that cultural genocide you guys are perpetrating. You know, the douchebag's born every minute. That was P.T. Barnum's premise when he invented the circus, and nothing much has changed. And you guys know that if you crank out any toxic piece of crap, people will line up and pay to see it. But long after you're gone, I'm gonna be on that stage, earning my living, bearing my soul, wrestling with complex human emotions, right. and that's what we do. Oh, so that... Is that what tonight was about? You wrestling with complex emotions? Tonight was just about seeing if it's even alive, seeing if it can bleed. No, this isn't the backlot rigging. This is New York City. This is how we do things. Where are you going? They have coffee here. 50 Φεύγα ηθοποιό, ξοφλημένο μετά την πρώτου τρίτου sequel εγκατάληψη του κομιξάδικου ρόλου που τον έκανε box office φίρμα, επιχειρεί επιστροφή ω συμπαραγωγό, σκηνοθέτη και θεασάρχη στο θέατρο και τρώει το πακέτο. Έξοδα κάργα, απώλεια του στάρ και αντικατάστασή του από μεθοδικό σπαστικό, κόρη σε αποτοξίνωση και πρώην απίκο, μία συμπροταγωνίστρια γκόμενα και μία άλλη όλο ανασφάλειε, γενικέ πρόβε με ευτράπερα viral, γκιόσα κριτικό, φωνέ στο μυαλό και υπερδυνάμει σωρό. Ο Μπέρντμαν ή η απρόσμενη αρετή τη αφέλειά του θα πούν μπορώ. Γιουχάρεται τον Αλεχάντρο Γκοντζάλε Σινιάρη του, ραμφίζει πότε από το σώσε του Τζέιμς Φρέιν, πότε από το η παράσταση αρχίζει του Μπομπ Φώση, πότε από τη συνεκδοχή του Τσάρλι Κάουφμαν. Ενώ χτυπάει φτερά ο μαύρος κύκνος νύχτα πρεμιέρας, φαντασιωνόμενος ότι γράφει ιστορία στο ρεπερτόριο διπόλων, το Broadway και το Hollywood, το χρήμα και η φήμη, το ταλέντο και η καριέρα, η προσωπική ζωή και το κοινό, το εγώ και το υπερεγώ, η αμφιβολία και το σχιζοειδές του καλλιτέχνη, για μια δραμεντή μικροκόσμου με κλού σούπερ φαντασιακού ή ρεαλιστή. Συνειδησιακού εσωκόσμου. Στράφει η αέρινη κάμερα του Λουμπέσκι που το ψηφιομοντάζ βγάζει από τη φωλιά με μία λήψη και καλά. Ακίζονται μεταξύ σάτυρα και ψυχανάλυση οι διάλογοι, ξεπουπουλιάζοντα του δεύτερου ρόλου έναν προ έναν. Η συνυποδήλωση εργοβιογραφία κήτων είναι ο Μπάμπη ο Φλούμπατ Μανίδη. Η ξόβεργα καταστάσεων δεν πιάνει μία. Μπέρντμαν ή η απρόσμενη αρετή της αφέλειας, ό,τι κι αν είναι, ας το στο κλουβί του. Το μπούλο. How did we end up here? This place smells like balls. We had it all. You were a movie star, remember? Are you afraid people will say you're doing this play to battle the impression that you're a washed up comic strip character? I'd absolutely not. That's why 20 years ago I said no to Birdman 4. Bold the man's law. You do Bold the man's law. Face it, Dad. You're doing this because you're scared to death, like the rest of us, that you don't matter. Now you're about to destroy what's left of your career. We should have done that reality show they offered us. Shut up. You know I'm right. Shut up. You're so annoying! Hey, it's uh, why don't you try to rest a little bit? Don't you get it? You are the original man. Let's make a comeback. I remember, I remember, I remember when I lost my... You're a bird man. You are a god. Why don't you get your wings and your bird suit, oh. man? Oh. I'm gonna choke you out.
Let's go back one more time and show them what we're capable of. Marvin! I got a chance to do something right. I gotta take it. Εμένα δεν μου άρεσε, αλλά η Ακαδημία το πρότεινε για ένα Όσκαρ και θα διχάσει τρελά. Οπότε πάρε μια επιπλέον γεύση παρασκηνίων για την ιστορία πίσω από τον Μπέρντμαν του Ινιάρη του. How did we end up here? In this dump. You were a movie star, remember? The film has so many levels. Then the levels have levels. I wanted the audience to experience the film through the eyes of Regan Thompson, the main character. When I first read the script, I was blown away by its originality and its original voice. Popularity is this bloody little cousin of prestige, my friend. For me, the film is about connecting with what really matters. This is my chance to finally do some work that actually means something. It means something to who? It's about a washed up, in quotes, actor, if you will. This isn't the 90s anymore. He's famous for some really blockbustery, not necessarily prestigious, movies. Uh, yeah, are you at all afraid that uh, people will say you're doing this play to battle the impression that you're a washed up comic strip character? No, absolutely not. That's why 20 years ago I said no to Birdman 4. That's oh. why. Birdman 4! You, you do Birdman 4! He's trying to remove himself from this image of Birdman and be a theater guy and, and a director and an actor and someone who's got chops. Yeah. <laughs> It kind of touches on the always looming, you know, this thing ain't gonna last forever. Would you mind having a picture with us? Who was this guy? He used to be Birdman. He falls apart and goes nuts. And at the same time, reaches kind of self-realization. I think he's struggling with this ego that is telling him how great he was. This is the battle that this character is going through. Hey, is this for real or are you shooting a film? A film! You people are full of... It's about characters that are going through sort of the last days leading up to the opening of a Broadway play. It's good, huh? He's incredible. Yeah. I've never seen anything like I think that he's in my drinking life. real gin. Again. What? And we're all going through our own dysfunction in some way, and it's kind of all about to fall apart. Oh! That guy's the worst actor I've ever seen in my life. The blood coming out of zero is the most honest thing he's done so far. It's not that bad. Okay, it's terrible, but... You're riding along with a guy who's making a desperate bid to reclaim a life that he can be proud of. It's not going very well, having to be in the tornado of, of being on stage with these crazy people. You went to rehab? Yeah. That wasn't all Dr. Drew or anything, but that dude from American Pie was there. All of us have a Birdman, no matter how big or how small it can be. And I wanted the audience to be navigating in the labyrinth of what he is going through. It's funny, then it's twisted, then it's dark, then it's funny again. I've never seen anything like this. Let's go back one more time and show them what we're capable of. Hey. How you doing? I'm cool. Thought you'd be working on your script. Wish I was. Gotta pay the bills. How's show business? It's all right. Got a call back from Blue Matrix. You watch it? Not in the space soaps. Well, it's got a kind of Battlestar Galactica thing going on. Post 9-11. Hey. 
can't believe I just spent eighteen thousand dollars. Let's go, Havana. This is Jerome. Hi. He's a chauffeur. Wonderful. Jerome just got an audition for Battlestar Galactica. Ενώ προσλαμβάνεται για θελήματα ανισόρροπη και πασέρμηνα ευτρία που έχει στο μάτι ρολάρα remake film θρύλου τη μάνα τη, καμένη στη μούρη και αμολυτή από επαρχιακή κλινική τώρα Beverly Hills, τραβιέται με σοφέρ λιμοζίνα, θα ήθελε ηθοποιό και βρίσκει ξανά το σόι στο οποίο έβαλε φωτιά πατέρα ψυχαναλυτή και αυτοβοήθεια βιβλίων τηλεπολιτή. Αδελφό υποκριτικό παιδί θαύμα, ντρογκάκια, προ συνέχεια σουξέ και μάνα μάνατζερ. Πού θα τους βγάλει ο οδηγό επιτυχία, όπου να είναι όχι, αλλά κατατρέχουν σύνδρομα Μπρέτ ή στον Έλλη, τον Μπρουσ Βάγκνερ και την Τρόι αλλά Ρίτσαρντ Κέλλη, στο πιο στριμόκολο ο Ντέιβιντ Κρόνενμπεργκ, υπολωστή φλόπα του οποίου τον βρίσκει να νομίζει ότι τα χώνει στα κόμπλεξ, τα βίτσια και το θάνατο σου η ζωή μου, τη οικογένεια τη μπίζνα, τη κοσμόπολη του ασήμαντου ή VIP Hollywood, σε μία μαύρου χιούμορ σαρκαστική τραγωδία φαντασμάτων επιλόγων και σχέσεων, όπου το τέλο τη βία ει βάρο σου δεν σηματοδοτούν δυστυχώ. Η βιτριολική ηρωνία που συχνά σπάει τα μούτρα τη, η διανομή που ρισκάρει και επειδή ο Καναδό δεν είναι τη διδασκαλία ηθοποιών, σε κρίσιμα σημεία ή φάτσε, δε σκιούζακ, τρομπάρι. Το ένα-δύο μοντάζ τη στάνταρ τετραγωνική πλανοθεσία που αποστηρωμένα κουράζει, η κοινική εφράδια του 13χρονου που φωνάζει σεναριογραφικό IQ και το εφέ φωτιά που είναι πολύ μουφα και σβήνει πρωτού η καιόμενη πέσει στην πισίνα. Αποχρώσει τη μουρ και του χιούμορ διασώζονται, αλλά ο οδηγό αποτυχία αντί επιτυχία. Παλαιό ψυχικό, μη σε πάρει από κάτω. Anna, sweetheart, and I hate to be leaving this on your phone, but um, they announced that Damien went with Azita. I know and I respect the reasons why it was so important to you, but... <laughs> What's happening in L.A.? Visiting family. On the last season of Fritz Lords, I was making $300,000 a week. Nine years old. What are they offering? Five million. Free. I heard a girl. It's amazing. Why is it amazing? This isn't a very glamorous job. I'm not used to glamour. She's disfigured, burned in a fire on her face. <laughs> Do you know how my mother died? No. In a fire? No. Oh. People don't just enter our lives randomly. We call them. But what is she doing here? Maybe she's sightseeing. Why are you so cavalier about this? I can't believe I just spent eighteen thousand dollars. Let's go, Havana. This is your row. I'm a big fan. Aww. Casting people call me. Well, is he just in the hospital? You know, she totally lost it. <gasps> no. I know it's beyond, but you still want to do it? Na 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 Hey hey hey. Goodbye. Come on, sing it. On the forehead of my friends, on every hand held out, I write your name. It's about your sister. I think she may be back. I think you're a little crazy. So, am I better looking than her? You want that role, but you're not gonna get it. It was like a dream. I'm alive, and I'm not crazy. Αμερικάνο δυσχωρισμένο συγγραφέα και ρέστο, κληρονόμο ελληματικού πατέρα, πηγαίνει πόλη του φωτό γιατί του άφησε μονοκατοικία ο νεκρό. Και βρίσκει μέσα ενενιντάρα Αγγλίδα δια συμβολέου ισοβίω ένικο. Αυτό θέλει να πουλήσει, αυτή γκρινιάζει, προκύπτει και κόρη με τα δικά τη προβλήματα, κατσικωμένη εκεί. Αν από τι εκμυστηρεύσει του προκύψει κορυφαίο πατυρντή, του χωράει όλου ένα σπίτι στο Παρίσι. Τη μετακόμιση πάντως του Ισραήλ Χόροβιτς από το σανίδι στο πανί 
Στα 75 του δεν υποχρεούσε να την αναλάβει εσύ, εκτό αν ονειρεύεσαι συμβίωση με τη σεβάσμια ερμηνευτική τρόικα τη ή βολεύεσαι σε μια διαρρύθμιση τύπου. Το συγκάτοικι με το ζόρι, με σωτυχία, με το στο μάτι του κυκλώνα, για μια δίγλωση δραματική κομμεντή φανερών και κρυφών αιματοδεσμών, χουγιών τριβών, συν παραδοχών, βιοδιαμορφωτικών και συσφικτικών. Κουφώματα. Η φωτογραφική κάτωψη δεν σε γλιτώνει από τη θεατρίλα, ειδικά σε κάποια πορτοπαράθυρα όψιμα σόλο κοντινά, το νουμεράκι της γιατρού Λβοφσκή που σπικάρει άπτεστα Αγγλέ και μετά δεν μπορεί να πει μάουφ. Είναι τρύπα πάχαρη το μενιά, το σκέτς μεθυσμενακίου κλάιν είναι σαν δοκιμή προκάτ, η μεταστροφή κερατούς Σκοτ Τόμας απαιτούσε με ρεμέτια ακόμα και η πορεία εργασιών κονέ από τη φαγωμάρα μέχρι το αγκάλιασμα αφήνει τις κακοτεχνίες της στο ενδιέτημα. Έστω και έτσι, η ιστοριούλα του παιδιού στα γόνατα και η βοησοβεριά ρεζούμε άπαξη που βάλουν αγαπησιάρικα θέα, Ξέρεις τι θες πια τέρατα, είναι οι ιδιοκτήτες εδώ και φεγγίτες χιούμορ παρά συγκίνησης αερίζουν το χώρο. Αλλά ένα σπίτι στο Παρίσι λίγο στενόχωρο. Μη σου σκάσει περαιτέρω κλεισούρα. My name is Matthias Gold. My parents were wealthy. I was born with a silver knife in my back. Hello? Oh, oh God! No, no, just wait, uh... Say frappe. I think it would be better if you spoke in English. I inherited this apartment from my father. This apartment is a vierge. Uh. The buyer must pay a fee until the seller dies. Until you die? Until I die. A French woman can live a long time. Yes, it's the red wine, isn't it? Take a walk by the sand. Please don't jump in. You'll probably fail to drown yourself and just end up with a dreadful cold. Do you have anything for a headache? I used the last cent that I had to get here. You get to be 57 and have so little to show for it. Please, don't be subtle with me. I'm 90. Subtlety is not something that interests me. Oh! Chloe is my daughter. She lives here. What are you doing here? Has your daughter ever been married? Do you find my daughter interesting? Fancy Stop meeting this. you of all French people. Vous êtes an imbécile. I don't speak French, but I get the gist of imbécile. Who parlay to me? I'm looking to sell. There's only one problem. See that old lady? This is not good. <laughs> She's 90. Not so bad. If we don't receive our money, our lawyers will have your contract made null and void. Jean. Did I see nothing catastrophic in the two of you comforting each other? I have spent my whole life at your side. I have never left you. I never asked for that. I don't have a friend in the world, except for this apartment. I have nothing. You have life left. There is no greater wealth. <laughs> You're so beautiful. I'm not beautiful. I'm nearly old. Perfect flower is nearly old. Long life. Please don't see just a girl caught up in dreams and fantasy. Μέχρι την περασμένη Κυριακή το μεγαλύτερο άνοιγμα ταινία για το μήνα Ιανουάριο στο Αμερικανικό Box Office προσέγγιζε τα 42 εκατομμύρια δολάρια. Το American Sniper του Clint Eastwood μέσα στο weekend που μας πέρασε ξεπέρασε τα 90 εκατομμύρια δολάρια. Μπορεί αυτό να επηρεάσει μέχρι και τα επερχόμενα Oscar. Το άνοιγμα αυτό είναι το 400ο μεγαλύτερο που είδαν ποτέ τα ταμεία της Αμερικής και επειδή το φιλμ δεν είναι 3D, αυτό σημαίνει κανονική τιμή εισιτηρίου, άρα και περισσότερες πωλήσει. Το Σάββατο το American Sniper ξεπέρασε τις συνολικές εισπράξεις του ξενοδοχείου Grand Budapest του Wes Anderson και έγινε η μεγαλύτερη εισπρακτική επιτυχία που διεκδικεί το Oscar καλύτερης ταινίας.
για να καταλάβουμε το μέγεθος της επιτυχίας, συνδυάζοντας τα Αμερικανικά Ταμεία και τον θεσμό της Ακαδημίας, η ταινία του Clint Eastwood έχει ήδη ξεπεράσει τις εισπράξεις των Birdman, The Theory of Everything, μεγαλώνοντας και Whiplash μαζί. Ο Αμερικανικός τύπος μιλά για αναταράξεις σε σχέση με τα φετινά Όσκαρ. Πάρε μια γεύση από το πρώτο φιτσουρέτ της ταινία που βγαίνει στην Ελλάδα από τις 19 Φεβρουαρίου και θα επανέλθω καθώς τα σωματεία των επαγγελματιών του Χόλιγουντ θα αρχίσουν να δίνουν τα δικά τους βραβεία που αποτελούν και τα καλύτερα προγνωστικά για τα Όσκαρ. Would you be surprised if I told you that the Navy has credited you with over 160 kills? Do you ever think that you might have done some things over there that you wish you hadn't? Oh, that's not me, you know. The whole movie's about a man who has dedicated his life to protecting others. The price of doing that. The thing that haunts me are all the guys that I couldn't save. about a man who's torn between two great responsibilities. Responsibility to his country and responsibility to family. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. and Mrs. Chris Kyle. Your heart is beating out of your chest. That's just because I'm not the only one going to war, that's all. had so many different qualities, but you can only really see how gentle he was if you were confronted with the massive physical presence. I had to get huge in order for you to see the inside of him. The spirit and the character and the heart of the man with the pain and the triumphs probably captured all of that. Don't pick it up. Don't you pick it up. So what are you in Germany or where? No, I'm stateside. You're home? What what are you doing? I guess I just needed a minute. I turned in the script on a Thursday, on Saturday, I got a call. Chris was just murdered. Teo called seven days later and she said, if you're gonna do this, you need to do it right because this will play a part in how my kids are gonna remember their father. You're my husband. You're the father of my children. Even when you're here, you're not here. I see you. I feel you. But you're not here. It shows the toll war takes on you right up to the very end. If you think this war isn't changing you, you're wrong. You can only circle the flame so long. Chris's life was beautiful and powerful, inspiring. But at its essence, it's a human story between these two people. Everybody involved in this movie went above and beyond what they had to do. And it's very fitting for a man who always gave more than he had to. I loved every moment of walking in his shoes, every moment of it. Hello? Baby? Baby, I can't hear you. I'm ready. I'm ready to come home.
I'm ready to come home, baby. Έχουμε εκλογές. Υπάρχει καλύτερη ευκαιρία από το να κλείσεις τα πάνελ των κυριακάτικων αποτελεσμάτων και να κάνεις αντεπίθεση με κινηματογραφικό προεκλογικό κλίμα. Ήδου μερικέ από τις καλύτερες ταινίες που είδαμε ποτέ γύρω από αυτό το θέμα. Σε αυτές βέβαια εκλέγουν από πρόεδρο της Αμερικής μέχρι και πρόεδρο του 15 Αμελούς. Χωρίς να εμφανίζεται ο Γκοντζίλα, ο Άρης Βελουχιώτης και η μικρασιατική καταστροφή. It is significant because it emphasizes democracy in action. Mr. Smith goes to Washington του Frank Capra από το 1939. Αφελής και νορμάλ τυπάκος βρίσκεται ξαφνικά ως υποψήφιος για μια θέση στη γερουσία των ΗΠΑ, αλλά σταδιακά ανακαλύπτει τον κόσμο της πολιτικής διαφθοράς που επικρατεί εκεί. Πες μου κάτι καινούριο. By far the greatest picture of filmdom's top director, three-time winner of the coveted Academy Award, the most timely, the most vital, the most significant picture ever to come out of Hollywood. A homespun boy and a hard-boiled, worldly wise girl in a picture carved out of the everyday lives of everyday Americans with those inimitable Capra overtones of drama, laughter and romance, plus the finest supporting cast ever assembled. The Manchurian Candidate του John Frankenheimer από το 1962. Τεράστια σημασία πολιτικό θρίλερ με βετεράνο του πολέμου της Κορέας που έχει υποστεί πλήση εγκεφάλου από τους κομμουνιστές για να δολοφονήσει Αμερικανό υποψήφιο. Μακι, δικό σου. The Candidate του Μάικλ Ρίτσι από το 1972. Η καλύτερη σάτυρα του είδους από τη δεκαετία του 70 παρακολουθεί την προεκλογική καμπάνια ενός wannabe γερουσιαστή από την Καλιφόρνια που χρησιμοποιεί λίαν δόλιους τρόπους για την επιτυχία του. Όχι παίζουμε. Mr. McKay. Black against the white. Vote once. Vote twice. For Bill McKay. You middle class honkies. And it's going to be decided by you. What about the group in San Diego? Never mind that. We've got a fire in Malibu. It's perfect. The poor against the less poor. 
Uh, losing 15 minutes of free air time is like throwing away $80,000. Now go on, Rich. The young against the old. Our faith in ourselves and our faith in our country. Bow, 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 bow. Dave του Ivan Reitman από το 1993. Ο πρόεδρο τη Αμερική πέφτει σε κόμμα και οι συνεργάτε του βρίσκουν ένα ανδρίκελο σωσία του, τον οποίο εκπαιδεύουν ω αντικαταστάτη του πρώτου, μέχρι τη στιγμή που το κορόιδο αρχίσει να το παίζει με συνείδηση. I once caught a fish this big. Sigourney Weaver. I'm talking to you. Will you please turn around? You know, if you want to be the same old selfish... Um... From Ivan Wright, the director of Ghostbusters, Twins, and Kindergarten Cop. Before we get started, uh, a couple things I'd like to go over in the budget. Mr. President. Yes? I'm going to kill him. You can't kill a president. He's not a president. He's an ordinary person. I can kill an ordinary person. In a country where anybody can become president. Anybody just did. Kevin Klein, Sigourney Weaver. Make a nice president, Dave Cook. Dave. Wag the dog to Barry Levinson από το 1997. Ένα σύμβουλο και ένα χολιγουντιανό σκηνοθέτη στείνουν έναν πλαστό πόλεμο στα Βαλκάνια για να καλύψουν ένα σεξουαλικό σκάνδαλο του Προέδρου τη Αμερική. Εδώ βολεύονται με μονταζιέρε. Without the casualties, America has seldom witnessed a more poignant picture. Face the same process with the last Schwarzenegger movie. You're the man. Albania, Albania. That rhymes. I can't believe it. We forgot a hero. It was like we sent him the Christmas card and we left out the what do you call fruitcake? There you go, Sergeant Schumann, if I may. Welcome to history. All right. <laughs> Anybody want a beer? 'Cause I could party. When it's cooking, it's cooking. From Academy Award-winning director Barry Levinson. When this goes national, I get to put it on my resume. Actually, no. What What could they do to me? I'll take him home to your house and kill you. Academy Award winner Dustin Hoffman. This is politics at its finest. Academy Award winner Robert De Niro. How would you like an ambassadorship? That's my fail. Hell, I just do it for a story to tell. Oh, no, you couldn't tell anybody. Listen, I'm just kidding. No, <laughs> no, I mean, couldn't tell no, no, no. It's just a, it's a, it's, it's a pageant. It's a pageant. That's what it is. Wag the dog. <laughs> Election του Alexander Payne από το 1999. Η Tracy Flick θέλει να γίνει πρόεδρος του 15 μελούς στο σχολείο της. Χέστηκε για οτιδήποτε άλλο στη ζωή της. Ο τύπος του παιδιού που θα πάει μπροστά δηλαδή. Κι άμα έχεις και Κάντ... The final candidate, sophomore Tammy Metzler. I'm attracted to the person. It's just that all the people I've ever been attracted to happen to be girls. You should stop her. She's not qualified. We can't both run, can we? I mean, we're brother and sister. Can we? Tracy and I are totally in love. In love? Yeah. So is this a moral situation or an ethical situation? When I win the presidency, that means you and I are going to be spending a lot of time together. <laughs> Cast your vote for Tracy Flick next week. You won't just be voting for me. You suck! You'll be voting for yourself. Who knew how high she would climb in life? I had to stop her. Excuse me! Will you please be quiet? Now. Paramount Pictures presents an MTV Films production. Order! Order! Starring Matthew Broderick, oh. Reese Witherspoon. Hey, what happened to your eye? What happened to your eye? Are you okay, Mr. McAllister? I'm fine. On the road to greatness. Never underestimate an overachiever. Looks like you could use a cupcake. Election.
Napoleon Dynamite του Jared Hess από το 2004. Σχολικές εκλογές και εδώ. Αν έχεις δει έστω και έναν άνθρωπο στη ζωή σου που φορούσε τη shirt Vote for Pedro και αναρωτήθηκες, εδώ κρύβεται η απάντηση. Αν τον είδε πίσω από σύρματοπλέγματα με άλλους μετανάστες, άστο. Milk του Gus Van Sant από το 2008. Η αληθινή ιστορία του γκέι ακτιβιστή Harvey Milk που αγωνίστηκε για τα δικαιώματα των ομοφυλόφιλων στη ΣΥΠΑ αλλά δολοφονήθηκε από τον αντίπαλό του. Σύμφωνο συμβίωση είπατε. The Ides of March του George Clooney από το 2011. Ιδεαλιστή συνεργάτη υποψηφίου για το προεδρικό χρήσμα, μπλέκει σε μυστηριώδει αυτοκτονίε και το παρασκήνιο μια καμπάνια που δεν δείχνει έλεο ούτε μπροστά σε ανθρώπινε ζωέ. Πολλέ λέξει κλειδιά εδώ. He's the only one that's going to actually make a difference in people's lives. Either we're going to lead the world or we are going to bury our heads in the sand. You're my brain trust. So how are we doing? What do you think, Stevie? I think it's ours to the taking. You are working for the wrong man. I want you to work for us. Paul's my friend. Well, there's only one thing I value in this world, and that's loyalty. Without it, you are nothing. You want to work for the friend, or do you want to work for the president? I don't have to play dirty anymore. I got more. Today marks the beginning of a fight between two sets of ideals. If you get Thompson's endorsement, the race is over. What does he want? Cabinet post. I'm never gonna do it. I said I wasn't gonna make those kind of deals. Paul, I met with Tom Duffy yesterday. What? I just didn't think he was. Well, it doesn't matter what you thought. It matters what you did. It matters what you didn't do. I'm in. I'm coming to work for you. Revenge makes people unpredictable. We can't have that. What if I had something else? Like what? Something big. Next president of the United States of America, Governor Mike Lawrence. You really want this story getting out? Dignity matters. You were off the campaign, but you thought it was important to fix things. Integrity matters. Our future depends on it. Steven, don't do this. Say anything if I believe in it, but I have to believe in the cause. The campaign to Jay Roach από το 2012. Στη Βόρεια Καρολάινα, δύο αντίπαλοι τερματίζουν τη βλαχιά και το προεκλογικό ξεφτιλίκι. Φέρελ και Γαλιφιανάκη. Τι καλύτερο ζητά για να πέσει στα πατώματα, Πρετεντέρι. Now that I'm running for Congress, we're going to be under a lot of scrutiny. Anybody have anything that they want to share with us? I said the Lord's name in vain at school. Is that it? I went to the petting zoo and I, I let the goat lick my wiener. That little guy's a weirdo. I'm going to smoke that clown. We've got some work to do, right? How you doing? I hate to break it to your friend, but uh, your balloon's getting ready to pop. 
and that balloon's full of your own butt toots. Are you trying to trash talk me? Your mama's like a vacuum cleaner. She sucks, she blows, and gets laid in the closet. That's what nuts feel like. Stop it. Washington, D.C. is a mess. How do you say it's a mess in Hebrew? Balagan. Donkey Kong? You want a holy war, little man? Let me hear a Cam Brady 12 Oh, shove a throwing star up a Chinese monkey. They want to get my nose on the ceiling. I refuse to lose, and I will win. This dog has a lot of fight in him. Marty Huggins? What do you got there? Is that a crossbow? Ah! Ho! Oh, Black Hawk down! Gentlemen, we've got some babies to kiss. That's my baby to kiss. Stop it. They wanna get my... He just punched a baby. Πάρτα από την αρχή, όχι εσύ, η ταινία όπου ακούγεται το Lost Stars, ένα από τα πέντε υποψήφια για Oscar τραγουδιού που στην καλή εκδοχή του εδώ άδει η Κύρα Νάιτλι. Στο live της απονομής θα χώσουν και τον χλέμπουρα Adam Levine για τηλεθέαση, το κόβω. Και ψηφίζει στην Κυριακή. Just a girl caught up in dreams and fantasies Please see me Reaching out for someone I can see Take my hand, let's see where we wake up tomorrow Best laid plans, sometimes are just a one-night stand Get drunk on oh, oh, tears and go. Tell us the reason if this wasted on the young. It's hunting season and this lamb is on the run. We're searching for meaning, but are we all lost stars trying to laugh? Just a speck of dust within the galaxy Woe is me If we're not careful turns into reality Don't you dare let our best memories bring you sorrow Yesterday I saw a lion kiss a deer Turn the Maybe we'll find a brand new ending Where we're dancing in our tears and gone Tell us the reason if it's wasted on the young It's hunting season and this lamb is on the run We're searching for meaning But are we on? is wasted on the young It's hunting season and this lamb is on the run We're searching for meaning But are we all lost stars Trying to light up the dark Are we all lost stars 
to you.